Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. To support independent news like me, the very best thing that you could do is watch the entire video. It's like donating five cents to me every time that you watch it. If you have advertisement turned on or you're a YouTube premium member. So shout out to all my YouTube premium members. Here is a mystery and I'll let you all theorize what you think the actual cause is. And I want you to pay careful attention to the language used in this report because there is something hidden in the words that I can see right off the top of my head, but I'm not supposed to give out any sort of theories myself, right? The number of adults who suddenly die without explanation could be much higher than recorded in official records. Researchers said to the Daily Mail. A study founded by the British Heart Foundation estimated that 3,500 apparently healthy adults die suddenly each year in England. It found that at around 4% of such deaths, no cause can be found, despite a full postmortem examination. However, as there is no recognized category for recording such a death, it is difficult to obtain a clear picture of the exact number of victims because the records do not reflect such a thing because they don't know how to categorize it. Now, the lead researcher, Dr. Tim Boker, associate medical director at the BHF, said, quote, It has long been recognized that there are occasions when an apparently previously healthy adult dies suddenly and unexpectedly and any abnormalities found at postmortem are minimal to non-existent. In such cases, it can be very difficult to identify a precise cause of death. This leads us to question whether these deaths are rare or represent the tip of a larger iceberg." End quote. He said such deaths should be classified as adult equivalent of the sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, given the condition a name, sudden adult death syndrome, SADS, would lead to a greater understanding of the scale of the problem. So they're trying to actually categorize it and name it so that it can be categorized so that people then could adequately report, we have a case of SADS here. And then we can get an accurate estimate of how many SADS cases that there actually are throughout the year. The study in the Quarterly Journal of Medicine took, took a sample of 67 cor coroners across England. The research team from the National Heart and Lung Institution in London looked at people who died suddenly aged between 16 and 64 years of age. All had no previously documented heart disease, but were found during a postmortem to have cardiac cause of no identifiable cause of death. So they did not have heart disease, no reported case of heart disease, and even when they did the postmortem, they still didn't find anything related to the heart as being the cause. It is thought that many sudden adult deaths are due to electrical abnormalities, some of which are inherited electrical abnormalities. Folks, I want you to leave me a comment if you've ever heard of this. Is this some sort of pseudoscience or do you think it's some legitimate medical thing that's going on that they're not telling us about and they're not teaching i, I took a lot of biology in college a lot i should have gone, uh, got graduated in a science degree but i did not and what do they mean by it's inherited if that's the case that means every human has it however electrical measurements of the heart can only be made when the person is alive. So you can't do a postmortem on somebody to determine if it's an electrical cause. Professor Sir Charles George, medical director of the BHF, said, quote, This study takes us another step closer to unraveling the mystery that surrounds the tragedy of healthy adults dying prematurely from sudden adult death. End quote. He said at this stage, there was not enough evidence to call for a population screening, but I think with the recent events that he should be able to actually call for a population screening, right? Quote, what is neater needed 
is further research and accurate pathology to assess the scale of the problem and widespread support and follow-up of surviving relatives, he added. Now, that is the end of the report. This is buried. The story is buried. Do you hear me? Not only is it buried, it's not promoted as a regular story. But this isn't the only one. There are plenty of reports about it because I'm looking at, at I'm looking at a page full of these reports of healthy adults suddenly passing away. If you made it this far, please uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It, it, it doesn't matter. Just give me your opinion and uh, leave a comment of what you think this actually is caused by. I've already read some of your theories on my actual Shikama page on the community tab. There's discussion over there. So if you want to click on my name and go to the community tab, you can do that. Or what's best is to actually leave your comment here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Turn your phone vertical and hit the subscribe button and the bell.